NOAA's National Integrated Drought Information System is pleased to announce two new interactive features on drought.gov launched in partnership with NOAA's National Centers for Environmental Information. First, we've added new customization and sharing options for all the maps on drought.gov. Just click the download map icon in the top left corner of any map on the website to be taken to a larger interactive version of that map, which you can customize, download, and share. You can zoom in or out to view a particular area of interest, adjust the transparency of the map layer, or change the background layer. You can also display any map layer alongside the current US Drought Monitor or enable state and county boundary lines. Once you've got the map looking the way you want it, you can click the Save Map button at the bottom left-hand corner of the screen to save a high-quality map image, which you can include in drought or risk mitigation plans, share on social media or in media briefings, or use to report on drought impacts across the United States. In addition to this new feature, Drought.gov has also launched new interactive economic sector maps that show sector-specific information alongside key drought and climate indicators. You can access these maps by going to the Buy Sector section of Drought.gov and clicking on an economic sector, for example, wildfire management. Once on this page, just click the View Interactive Map button at the top right corner of the Current Conditions section to view these customizable GIS maps. These interactive GIS maps provide vital information for private and public sector decision makers to monitor, plan for, and mitigate the impacts of drought. For example, the default view for this map shows currently active wildfires overlaid on top of the most recent US drought monitor. You can select in the left sidebar from a variety of drought and climate indicators, including the US drought monitor, current weather observations, measures of evaporative demand and soil moisture, precipitation information, and more. Each of these sector maps also contains sector-specific data. For example, the wildfire management sector map contains currently active wildfires, fire weather outlooks, air quality, and smoke information. To view or hide a data set, just click the eye icon next to that data set in the left sidebar. For example, by clicking this eye icon, I will now show the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency's Air Now Air Quality Index, showing air quality information across the U.S. You can easily use the plus or minus icons to zoom in or out on a particular region of interest, or you can click this search bar at the top to search for a particular location. You can learn more about any of these data sets in the right-hand sidebar by scrolling down. Just click on a data set to learn more and view the legend for that data set. You can also collapse either or both of these sidebars to view the map in more detail. Together, these two new communications tools can help decision makers and the public respond to the current drought in the West, prepare for future drought conditions, and improve the nation's long-term drought resilience. To explore these tools, visit www.drought.gov.